guys djb here with another video today we're going over this s24 just purchased this thing but here's my dilemma it was previously a verizon phone so when i put my sim card it complains and it tells me hey sim isn't from verizon wireless which is pretty annoying i mean everything else is working right um i could remove the wi-fi so you can see that i got 5g looks good i'm happy with all that but i want to get rid of that message and also i want to get rid of all of the verizon crap that gets pre-installed so i already deleted a bunch of stuff that was all verizon but every time this phone boots up it still has verizon stuff in it right right and i want to flash it with just stock samsung you know my hopes is to get rid of anything that's verizon that's still on the phone so we could do a brand new clean flash so let's go ahead and uh get this done okay so the next thing is i needed to install this app it's like uh freeha or freeja i don't know whichever way you pronounce it anyway to get an auto mode to work you need to literally go to your phone which i'm going to show you guys and you need to put it into usb settings transfer file but before you get that to work you literally need to search for usb right when you switch for usb you're going to get a lot of usb information right so you want to go to debugging and you want to make sure USB debug is on. And if it's not working, it's because it'll tell you it's being blocked. Once you get that on, that's it. The app will recognize it. And also, Odin will show you your device get added or removed or whatever. But my recent one says added. So for now, I'm going to focus here. And what I'm going to do is check update. This is what's going to tell us the firmware information that we need. But as you can see, it's telling me on this phone that I couldn't get what I needed. And also it just disconnected and it's reconnecting, which is means like the cable's faulty. Let's do a check update again. So when you're having this issue, you probably wanna do it manually. So you go to manual mode and you put a one at the end and also XAA is for the US and uh, depends on your location. Now I'm gonna have check update and look at that. Now it's giving me the version of what I need with the latest. So I'm just gonna say download and okay, my file is gonna be coming down right now. I'm gonna let that download complete. Hey guys, so my download is still going on. I have a very fast connection, one gig down, and uh, as you can see, I'm at 11 gig, and it's almost done. I would say 99%, but yeah, it could take 10, 20 minutes, depending on your connection, or even longer. Okay, so my next step is Odin. This is the latest version that I was able to get, and we're going to run it, and make sure it's running as administrator say okay and now I'm gonna load up all of these files one by one so we're gonna start with BL as you can see right here it shows the phone is connected that's good so we're gonna start with BL so I'm gonna navigate to that path BL on there we go gotta wait for it Next, we're going to do AP. Going to wait for it. Some may take longer than others. And it tells you right here do not unplug the cable. So, very critical. I think AP is the biggest one, so I'm gonna put this to the side right here just to look at the size. Look how big AP is, it's huge. So I have about 13 gigs. 
So that's going to take a while. We're just going to let it do its thing. AP has completed. So let's move on with the next one, which is CP. CSC. Okay, guys. So I decided not to do the last one. So I unchecked that box. We're going to leave that one off. But what we're going to do now is we're going to shut off the phone. So let's press this down. And we're going to go to power off. And once it's off, this is when we're going to put it into download mode. Okay, guys, so we got the phone into download mode, as you can see, download mode, which is basically powering off the phone, pressing volume down, volume up, and then holding volume up and down at the same time. And then you plug the cable. And it goes right into it. All you have to do next is toggle the up volume and it stays. So now, as you can see, COM4, let's get ahead and get started. Wish me luck, guys. Okay, guys, so as you can see, first phase has passed and looking at my phone it's doing its thing I'm gonna keep an eye on it see what it does but usually when it's booting up I get that stupid Verizon logo I hope that Verizon logo is going on oh I get an Android logo now no more Verizon logo guys I'm still praying that this is uh, my solution to my getting rid of my stupid Verizon uh, logo and all of the apps and all of the bloat load crap that is pre-installed on this phone so let's uh, let it continue and let's see what it does okay I got my welcome and I did not get any Verizon crap at all holy crap guys so yeah I'm gonna go through all of this but um, yeah, the next I'm going to be putting my SIM card and uh, go through the whole process, but uh, I feel like I succeeded. All right, let's keep going. Hey, guys, so I actually uh, plugged another cable. Let me keep them next to each other. So I'm literally transferring the data from my S22 to my S24 after I did a firmware uh, change. So, let's see what it does. Okay, guys. So, the part that says connect to a network, I actually say set up later, right? And look what it says. It says you won't be able to connect to a mobile network until you activate your phone. Contact Verizon. So, this phone still, I'm going to say skip, still knows about Verizon somehow. Even though I flashed it. It still has some Verizon information. We're going to keep going so we can see what's up with that. Okay, guys. It seems like it's halfway there. It still says transfer, but I, I could see that all my apps and everything is getting copied over. Uh, it's still doing its thing here. It says just a few more steps, but I have not seen any of the Verizon crap still installing other than that message, right? So while it's doing that, let's take a look at, I would say, connections and SIM manager. Okay, no SIM card. I'm going to go ahead and add my SIM in a little bit. Uh, but let's see what other crap is here. Mobile networks. Okay, no SIM card. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to come back to this. But, I mean... Previously, the UI that this thing had was the Verizon one, and I could tell there was a lot of difference compared to my old one. So now I can look at the model, look at the model name, right? And that's got the U1, which means that's the official Samsung and not the, the, the software that was made for Verizon itself, right? So that is a plus right there. I mean, we're going to... We're going to wait until uh, it's completed and I'm going to put my SIM card. But even the phone status is official. 
I mean, so far, I'm pretty, pretty excited. Uh, just going to see uh, what the full um, result's going to be like when it's done. Okay. Continuing our video, we are 98.4%, one minute to go. And uh, if you look at the top of the phone, kind of looks identical before some of the icons were a little bit different uh, with the Verizon version. But once we put the SIM card, we're going to see what it looks like. Okay, I have inserted the SIM card. Now let's see what we get. Okay, so, so far I'm not getting any service. Okay, let's look at that service provider update. The device will restart. Okay, that's a good thing. That is a really good thing. Before I would get a complaint about this SIM card. Even though it worked, but I would still get a complaint. And then every time the phone booted, it would boot and show you the Verizon logo. Now I no longer see the Verizon logo. Super happy about that. This feels like a straight up 100% Samsung uh, phone that were not touched by Verizon. Okay, let's go. Okay, what does it look like? Still, huh? Okay, let me unlock it. We're gonna look at our SIM card, see what it does. It's still trying. Okay, I don't see anything good yet. Yup, no good. Maybe it needs more. Okay, let's take it out of Wi-Fi. That could be our issue too. Okay, Wi-Fi is off. Let's see if we get anything with the service. I'm gonna go to settings, connections, and mobile networks okay okay huh there goes my mint mobile right there it seems like i have to select it it should have done it automatically but it didn't so yeah it's set to automatic but yeah i did that that did not work as expected uh everything's on auto that is, you know, what it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm getting a Mint Mobile text message about setting up my phone. Oh, boy. Look at that, guys. Finally. Took a while, but, I mean, that is amazing. Look at that 5G. And look how many bars I got. Phew. Yep, so, Mint Mobile sent me a message to say, nice, your phone is set up for date and picture messaging. But if you have any issues in the future, check out whatever for manual update. Guys, wow, this is great. RCS message. Uh, very, very happy. Um, all my message should be showing up. I, I got to make sure I'm using the right message. Uh, but, uh, yep, some of my old calls are still there. Wow, look at that freaking 5G. I am so happy, guys. Uh so right now we're gonna go ahead and do that test the phone is still updating it's still downloading stuff look i still got so much more to go it's like downloading my messages backing up organizing it says like 19 hours left so i'm kind of like jumping ahead of time doing what i'm doing just because i'm extra excited <laughs> but uh yeah let's see if we could do a speed test just for the hell of it let's say continue yes google yeah i'm definitely uh Chump in the gun here, but let's see speed. Oh, look at that. Kept that. So let's see what that looks like. Before we have about 50. Yeah, seems the same. Guys, I'm not gonna continue with this video, but man, if you purchase a unlocked Verizon phone or T-Mobile, whatever company, and you want to make it unlocked so it doesn't have any of the garbage which now the apps that i have here are just the ones that i installed nothing extra that's it only the stuff that i need this is the method for you to do the same thing and end it up with a nice clean phone <laughs> so guys like and enjoy this video 
and uh, we'll be making more videos with tips on how to do different things. Thank you for watching.